Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an iPad. By the way, I should mention that this is pixel art. It's 2D, it's not 3D, it's not a statue or anything like that. Also, I want to mention that if you want to make the iPhone that also goes with this, feel free to check out the card system and the link below in the description for that. But now that all of that's out of the way, if you want to make the iPad, here's what you're going to need. You'll need some black wool. Also, grab dark grey light gray, white wool, then grab yourself some cyan stained clay, then grab light blue wool, red wool, orange wool, and finally grab yourself some lime green wool. And unfortunately, a little later on, we are going to need a couple more colors, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So once you have each one of those materials right there, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'll be making it right here. You're going to want to kick off your iPad with a single black wool on the floor. Then from that black wool, do three up left diagonals. So that's one, two, three. Just like that. You then want to go up on top of this third up left diagonal by 120. That's right, guys. You heard me right. That is 1, 2, 0. So... This is going to kill my lungs, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That should be 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and all we need now is 101, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Boom! There we go. That should be, in total, a row of 120. Wow. It doesn't really matter how you get there. I know that I kind of messed that up at the beginning. I kind of like ca uh, counted to 20 twice, but that's okay because I kind of I kind of realized what I was doing and I I just added it up quickly. But you don't need to be exactly 120, but that's what the original is. If you miss a few or add a few, it's not going to impact your iPad too much. Once you have your row of 120, you then want to take this 120th block and do three upright diagonals. So that's one two, three. You then want to take this third upright diagonal and go right of it by 45. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is 45 going right. You then want to make the next block in the row a white wall block. All that's going to do is mark out where the very center of the iPad is. That's going to help us later on. Once you've marked out that white wall, you then want to go right of this white wall by 46 with your black wall. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then we just need 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So after you have your row of 46, or I suppose... Yeah, 46 guys. Once you have your row of 46 black wool, you then want to take this 46th block and do three bottom right diagonals from the 46th block. So that's one, two, and three. We then want to take this third bottom right diagonal and we want to connect it all the way to the ground. It's not going to stay like this, but it's just going to help us a little later on. So connect it all the way to the ground like this. So just have it so it eventually hits the floor like that. 
what you now want to do is you want to, once you have this very long road that connects to the ground, you want to find the third block coming up. So we just want to reverse ourselves. And you can knock these blocks out as, uh, as we find the third block. So that's one, two, three like that just knock out those three blocks you then from this bottom block that we now have right here you want to do diagonals until you eventually hit the ground so as you guys can see we're kind of just rounding off the corner like this and it's it just saves us counting that long row gets it saves us counting like 120 out again no one wants to do that so knock out three blocks do three bottom left diagonals we then want to take this block right here the one that touches the floor and we want to go left of it by 45 so that's, let me get in a better position, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, we just need 5 more now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then you just want to make the next block coming along to the left, and once you've got your row of 45, a white block, and again, that should just line up perfectly all the way up to the top there with that center block, and then going left of this white block just do a long row of black wool it should in total be 45 but you don't really have to count it out just connect the bottom of the ipad together so you just want to end up with a shape that should look a little bit like this if you guys can see what we have here it's kind of hard to zoom out all the way because it is so huge but it does kind of seem as though those two center blocks are roughly roughly where they're supposed to be. One kind of looks offset, but it can be deceiving a little bit sometimes. So this is what you want to have so far, and that is basically just the outline of your iPad. What you now want to do is take out your cyan clay, and we basically just want to go all the way around the inside of the iPad's outline. So with our cyan stained clay, just go all the way around the inside of your black wall. So we're just doing the exact same shape, except it is just one block shorter like than the actual outline itself. That's all we're doing. So with the cyan stained clay, very, very simple. Just go all the way around the inside like this nice and easy so just doing this now it will take a little while of course because there is quite a lot of ground to cover but it's obviously very very simple there's uh there's nothing complicated about this whatsoever and as a matter of fact nothing about this is actually complicated that's the beauty of this thing whilst it is large and it does take quite a while to make it's it's not difficult really it's, it's just time consuming that's the only thing so we're now just doing all of the outline. We're now connecting everything together. I think that this is the last bit. Yeah, I think that this is the last bit because we're on the bottom. And uh, once we've done this, we can then move on to... We'll probably take care of the first big irritation, which is going to be the screen. The screen is actually where most of the detail lies. So once you have your cyan stained clay in line like this we can now move on to the next bit so what you now want to do once you have that inline of cyan stained clay is this so you want to come all the way over to the bottom left hand side of your ipad and starting from on top of this block right here if you guys can see where i am i'm kind of on like the first block of the bottom starting from on top of this block right here you want to do a row of 11 white wool going to the right so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven just going right like this row of 11 you then want to go on top of this 11th block by 10 with your white wall so that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 you then want to place a single dark gray wall on top of that 10th block like so what we now want to do is the exact same thing on the right hand side so come all the way over to the bottom right hand side of your ipad and going left of this cyan clay here, or starting from on top of this one, the very bottom right hand side, do your row of 11 white wool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then go up on top of this 11th block by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like that. Then place your dark grey block on top of that 10th block. What we can now do is connect each one of those dark grey walls together. So just connect the right hand side and the left hand side together. 
And what we're going to do next, by the way, once we've connected this dark grey wall, is we're going to do the exact same thing at the top of our... Of our <laughs> why can't I say that? Our... At the top of our iPad. There we go. Got the word out. Well done, me. <laughs> well done, me. So, once you've connected the left and right hand side together at the bottom, we now want to do the same thing at the top, like I was just saying. So, now come all the way up to the top. Might take you a little while. Zoom. So, we'll start on the left hand side at the top. So, starting from underneath this block right here at the top left hand side, do your row of 11 white wall. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we take this 11th block and we go down from it by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we place our single dark grey wall. And of course, we've already done this a couple of times already. And once we've got this left hand side taken care of, we now also want to do the exact same thing on the right hand side here. So coming to the right hand side, underneath this block, going left by 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then take this 11th block, go down by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 9, 10, then do your dark grey wall, then we can connect those two dark grey walls together at the top, the left and right hand side, and once we've connected the left and right hand side together, we can then connect the top and the bottom together as well to form a nice big rectangular shape. And once we've got the rectangular shape, we will then do... The screen, I think that we'll do the screen because there's not actually that much left to do guys. We've got the screen, we've got the home button at the bottom and we've also got the little camera at the top and that's all we have to do. So we're now just connecting the uh, top and bottom together. That is the left hand side done, didn't even realise it because I was, I was talking. So we're now connecting the right hand side, the top and the bottom together and like I said, once we've done that we'll then focus on the screen and I don't think it's going to be too difficult for us. So there we go guys hopefully if everything lines up correctly you should end up with something and again it's kind of it's kind of difficult to zoom out all the way you want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this it kind of looks like a photo frame but some of you guys might see it as the outline of an ipad that's what i'm going for anyway once you've got the outline of the screen done this is what you want to do next so come all the way down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen you're looking for this block right here this dark gray wall take out your cyan stain clay and go up on top of this block by five so that's one two three four five then from this fifth cyan stain clay do three upright diagonals so that's one two three you then want to take out your light blue wall and go right of that third upright diagonal by one. Then go up on top of that light blue by three. One, two, three. Then do two upright diagonals. So that's one and two. Go right of that second upright diagonal by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then do two bottom right diagonals. So that's one and two. Go down by six, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do two bottom left diagonals, one and two. Go left by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do two up left diagonals, one and two. Then connect that second up left diagonal all the way back to where we first started. And, and as you guys might be able to tell, that is just the outline of the first app that we have in the tray down at the bottom. We now have three more of these to make. They are all the same size. What we now want to do is take out our black wool and starting from on the right hand side here, this light blue wool, we want to do a row of six black wool going right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. You then want to do a single light blue wool. And what we're now going to do is basically just copy that exact same shape that we've just made there. So from this light blue, do two up right diagonals. One, two, go right by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do two bottom right diagonals. One, two, then go down by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do two bottom left diagonals, one and two. Then go left by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do two up left diagonals, one, two. 
then go up until you connect all the way back to where you first started to give you two identical light blue circles. What we now want to do is extremely similar but ever so slightly different. So we now want to go right of this light blue wall that we have on the right hand side here. This time by seven with your black wall. We're doing an extra one. It's seven instead of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it's pretty much the exact same thing except this time the color is a little bit different. So from the seventh black wall blo block do a dark gray wall. Then do two up right diagonals with your dark grey, one, two. Then go right by one with your white wall. Then do two dark grey, one, two. Then do a white wall. Then two dark grey, one, two. Then do two bottom right diagonals, one, two. Then take out your light blue wall and go down by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do two bottom left diagonals. One, two. Go left by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then do two up left diagonals. One, two. Then connect that second up left diagonal all the way back to where you first started to give you this shape right here. Exact same shape, different colors. We now want to do this one more time. So come to this right hand dark gray wall that we have right here. With your black wall this time go right by six. Not seven this time, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then take out your orange wall, do a single orange wall. Then we're making the exact same shape for a fourth time. So from here, one, two. Two upright diagonals, then right by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, two bottom right diagonals, one, two, down by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, two bottom left diagonals, one and two, then go left by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, then two upper left diagonals, one, two, then connect everything back together to give you four circular shapes which will act as our apps. And whilst we're on the right hand side here guys, if you take out your cyan stained clay and starting from on top of this block on the right hand side, we're basically doing the exact same thing that we did on the left there. So on top of this block right here, do a row of five cyan stained clay, one, two, three, four, five, and then just take this fifth block and do up left diagonals until you connect all the way up to your orange icon. And what you want to end up with in total is something that should look exactly like that. Nice and simple. So what we're now going to do guys is we're now going to fill each one of those icons in with their necessary colors so the way that this is going to happen guys i'm going to fill them in for you and then i'm just going to show you what they should look like i think that that's the easiest way to take care of this i did this on the iphone as well and i really do feel as though that this is probably just the best strategy because it's they're really easy to do and it's there's just no explanation that's really required it's kind of like Okay, just look at it and then you'll be able to copy it sort of deal so uh, I'm just going to do that it's uh, ever so slightly complicated to uh, do it from the plans that I have but you guys should have no problem it's hard for me because uh, I've made the plans so small that I can barely see them but uh, you guys will be able to do it. So the first icon that we have on this left-hand side here, I suppose I can talk about them. Uh, the first icon that we have on this left-hand side here is the Safari icon, which is, of course, uh, Apple's resident browser. So oh, we've just got this, and we've also got that there. There we go. And there we go. So I've just got to fill this in with light blue wool. And I know that this is kind of boring to watch. So if you just want to skip ahead to where I actually show you a nice still view of the icon, then you might want to do that. But I'm just going to continue making it now. And there we go. So this is the Safari icon for your iPad. This is the first one starting from the left hand side. Pause this video if necessary, guys. Copy everything that you see there. Apply it to your very own iPad. Once you've done that, we can move on. And it's going to be the exact same story with these next three apps. And as a matter of fact, we've got three up top as well, um, which we're also going to do in the exact same fashion. I also do this with a lot of pixel art, where... It's really simple to explain things, or it's really simple to build things, and it's really simple to actually see what you have to do. But when it comes to the explanation, sometimes it's just it's just not required. So that's kind of um, that's kind of a similar deal that we have here. So this next icon is actually going to be for the email, I believe. I'm pretty sure that this is the email icon. So we've got that there, and then 
Made a small mistake there, but that's okay, that's nice and fixable. So we just have a nice white envelope enveloped in light blue wool, and this is exactly what you want to end up with, guys. That is what you want to have for your second icon. Again, pause this if necessary, apply everything that you see there. Once you've got that taken care of, we can then move on to the next one. So this next one... Uh, I actually don't know this one from memory, but if I had to take a wild guess, I would say that it is for video. I would say that this is probably where your videos are stored or where you could take video with your iPad. I'm not sure which one. It's just because the top of it looks like a little bit of a clapperboard. Um, that's Well, at least that's what it looks like in the in the picture the uh, from the actual iPad that I copied it off. I'm, uh, I'm basically just copying, like, I typed in iPad into Google Images, and that's all I've copied. I've just copied the everything from there. So that is exactly what you want to end up with, guys. This is your third icon. Pause this if necessary. Once you've got that taken care of, we can now move on to the final icon. So this fourth icon that we have down here at the bottom, this, I'm 100% positive that this is just for music. So um, we've just got a nice music note here. I wish I actually knew the names of all these notes. They've all got weird little names, all of these music notes. Some of you guys might uh, might know this. I never, I never did music in school, so I've got no idea what all of these notes are called. Like a crescendo, and then there's like the double such and such, and the triple such and such, and the singing... Yeah, I've got no idea, but it's just uh, just a nice little like double music note or whatever you want to call it, and it wants to end up looking a little something like this, nice and easy to copy. So that's the fourth app that we have down at the bottom here. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've got that taken care of, we can now move on to all of the other little details that we have down at the bottom. And there's not too many of them. So, once you've got all of the apps taken care of, you now want to take out your cyan stain clay. And since we're on the right-hand side here, can you guys see where we have this top, like, diagonal with our cyan stain clay? Well, we want to trace this over to the left here. And we kind of just want to box in an area at the bottom of our iPad screen. And we just kind of want to have some separation here between the black wool and the cyan stained clay, if you guys can see what we're doing now. We've kind of just made like a shelf for the apps. We're later on going to fill that bottom section in with uh, cyan stained clay, and everywhere else will get filled in with black wool, so just make that. Once you've done that, we can now move on to the next bit. So, come all the way up to the top left-hand corner of your mail app. You want to be on top of this light blue wool here. With your black wool, do a row of three black wool. So, that's one, two, three. Like so. You now want to come all the way over to the right top hand corner of your video app. And on top of this dark grey wool, do a row of three black. One, two, three. You now want to go left just moving things around. You now want to go either left or right of either one of those black walls, and you kind of just want to do this pattern. You kind of just want to do like a black, white, black, white kind of like checkerboard pattern connecting each one of those two rows of black wall together, and uh, that's why I moved the white closer to the black just to make this ever so slightly easier. So, you just want to have something which should look a little bit like this, and you guys might be able to identify these. These are kind of like, the uh, these are how many screens you have, so that left one's for First screen, second one, second, third, third, etc, etc. We've got a lot of screens on this iPad. Of course, you could lessen them, you could add more, it's completely up to you. But uh, that's what you want to do with your black and white wall. Quite easy. Now all we have to do at the bottom of our iPad to finish the bottom part off is you want to come all the way down to the bottom center where we have this white wall right here. This is why we placed it a little earlier on. Now, in line with this white wall, you want to go up on top of the cyan stained clay by one with your white. Then take out your cyan stained clay and do one cyan on top of that white wall. Extend it out by two either side. One, two, and right hand side as well. One, two. We now want to, starting from this left hand cyan stained clay, do two up left diagonals. One, two. Go up on top of that second diagonal by four. One, two, three, four. Then do two up right diagonals. One, two. Go right by four. One, two, three, four. Then do two bottom right diagonals. One, two. Down by four. One, two, three, four. Then do a bottom left diagonal. And what you want to end up with is a nice little circular-ish shape like this. What we now want to do is take out our white wool, and you kind of just want to go all the way around the inside of the circular shape that you just made with your cyan stained clay. So you just want to go all the way around the inside like this with your cyan stained clay. And you want the corners to connect to each other like this. 
You now want to take out your light grey wall and you just want to fill in these like empty rows of four with your light grey wall. So at the bottom, top, left, right, just fill in each one of those with your light grey wall. Then fill the centre part in with white wall. So you just want to end up with a shape that should look like this. And this is, of course, just the home button that we have at the bottom of the iPad. And that is actually the bottom half of the iPad done, guys, once you've got all of that completed. You want to end up with something, I'll just show you the entire bottom half, which should look exactly like this. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Once you've got all of that taken care of, we can now, of course, move all the way up to the top of our iPad. So once you have got that taken care of, come all the way up to the very top of your iPad and once again you're looking for this center block that we have up at the top this white wall and you want to trace it down until you are in line with this cyan wall that we have right here going down from this cyan stained clay you want to do three white walls so that's one two three then do one dark gray wall still coming down then one cyan clay then one dark gray wall and then extend each one of those sides of your cyan stained clay out by one with your dark grey wall. So kind of just cover it up to form like a plus shape like this. And I'm pretty sure that this is the camera that's at the top of the iPad. Once you've got that taken care of, you can now come all the way up to the top left hand corner of the screen. And going right of this block right here, you want to do this sequence of blocks. Do one black wall, two white wall, one black, one white, to black like this so you want to have that sequence of wall now underneath it starting from the left hand side you want to do one black one white one black two white two black and that is what you want to have formed and i really can't remember what uh, this is supposed to be i don't know what the text at the upper left hand corner is supposed to be i can't remember but there's something there pause this if necessary do that for yourself once you've done that, you can now come all the way over to the right-hand side. So, top right-hand corner now, starting from the right, you want to do this sequence of blocks. Do one black wall, three white wall, two black wall, one white wall, like that. Now, underneath it, you want to, starting from the right-hand side, do one black, three white, one black, one white, one black, to give you these two rows. Again, Pause this if necessary. Once you've got all of that taken care of, we can now move on to the little final bit with the text. So, we now want to come to the center part at the top of the screen, and that's why we did the camera already. So, in line with like this dark gray wall block, if you just trace it down till you hit the top middle part of the screen here, and if you just underneath this dark gray wall, place a white wall, then underneath that white wall, place another white wall, so you have two white wall coming down. Going left of this top white wall, do one black, one white, one black, one white. Then going left of this bottom white wall, do one white, one black, one white, one black, like that. Now, if you go right of this top white, white wall, then do one white, one black, one white, one black. And going right of this bottom white wall, do one black, one white, one black, one white, to give you something which should look exactly like this. And again, I can't remember exactly what's supposed to be up here. I think it might actually be the time. I think it might be the time, but that's what that's supposed to represent. You obviously can't write the time in such a small place, so I kind of just made something up. So what you want to have so far in total is something that should look exactly like this. A couple of barcode looking things and the camera. What we're now going to do is the rest of the apps. So, come all the way up to the top left-hand side of the screen again. You're looking for this black wall that we have right here. Take out your black wall and go down from this black wall by 8. So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then, do a lime green wall. Then, go right by 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then do two bottom right diagonals, so that's one, two. Go down by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do two bottom left diagonals, one, two. Go left by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two up left diagonals, one, two. 
then up by 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then do an upright diagonal, and what you want to end up with is a shape that should look exactly like this. And as you guys can see, it is identical to all of the other icons that we have on the bottom row there, and we're pretty much going to be emulating that exact same thing. So what we now want to do once you have the outline of this first one is take out your black wall, Go right of this lime green wall by six with your black. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do a single white wall and then copy the exact same shape that we've just made like five times already. So one, two, or right diagonals, then one, two, three, four, five, six. Two bottom right diagonals, one, two, down by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two bottom left diagonals, one, two, left by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two up left diagonals, one, two, up by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we should connect all the way back together to give you the second app. As you can see, same size, same shape, perfect. We now want to do this again, except of course this time we're going to go right of this white wall block by seven this time. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then take out your light blue wall and then make the exact same shape. So that's one light blue, then upright diagonals. Right by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then two bottom right diagonals. Down by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two bottom left diagonals, one, two. Left by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two up left diagonals, one, two. Up by six until you reconnect to give you your third shape. We now want to take our black wall out our black wall for the last time and we want to go right of this light blue wall by six this time again. So just six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then take out your light gray wall and make the exact same shape that we have now literally made seven times. So one light gray, then one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, then one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, then two bottom left diagonals, whoops, one, two, Two, then one, two, three, four, five, six, then one, two, and of course one, two, three, four, five, six to connect everything together. And what we want to end up with is something that should look exactly like this. So we have our four apps all the way at the top of our iPad. What we're now going to do, of course, is fill these in. So going from left to right, we'll just fill all of these in. So Starting with the messaging icon, guys, and of course, this is going to be done in the exact same way that I did all of the other four previous apps. I'm just going to do these, and I'm not going to try and describe or talk about them. Well, I'll talk about them, but I'm not going to try and describe what you actually have to do to fill these in. So, I believe that I've already went ever so slightly wrong with this one. Yeah, because that white wall's supposed to be there. There we go. That's there. Then it's free either side. Perfect. Then we extend it out. There we go. Good. Back on track. So, this is the messaging icon, and and I had absolutely no idea that uh, iPads had this, to be honest with you guys. I thought it was just like a mobile thing. But thinking about it now, I suppose it does kind of make sense. Because um, I suppose you have the iMessager, don't you? So I suppose you can use that. Um, just filling this in now. So I suppose you can probably just uh, message other phones, other iPhones, other any Apple device, I imagine, just using iMessager. So you want to end up... First of all, with a shape that should look exactly like this for your first icon on the top left hand side. Pause this if necessary of course, once you've got that taken care of, move on to the next one. So this next one, um, this is actually kind of putting a hole in my original theory that, um, that one of those bottom icons was like to pull out the recorder. I'm guessing that this one is going to be like the actual record things and the bottom icon is actually going to be kind of just like where you store your videos so that uh, that actually kind of makes sense now so um we're just doing this and like i like i've just been describing i'm pretty sure that this one is like if you want to record a video this is where you go um i'm not sure wherever i've mentioned it i, should, I probably should have if it's if i haven't mentioned it it's pretty obvious i don't have an ipad um, never really felt the need for one. I'm pretty chained to my computer, so uh, I never never felt the need to get one. But this is the uh, second app along the top row. Video, I'm guessing. Pause this if necessary. Once you've applied all of that, we can then move on to the next one. So, for the next one, guys, we're actually going to need a couple more colors. So, if you discard orange and red, we won't be needing those anymore. And if you grab yellow and brown, we can then do this one. So, this is, I'm pretty sure... And this is just a wild guess. This is where I think your photos are stored. Like, uh... 
if you if you hit this button this is where your photos are plain and simple i think again i i don't know this is just a guess i'm just guessing but um we're just making what is essentially a nice little sunflower right here and uh, once we finish this we'll only have the one app left and uh, i'm not entirely sure what that app will be actually i think i do know what that app is i'm pretty sure so uh we're just filling these in Yep, yeah, that's the sunflower we're done. We've just got a leaf to add, and then we can just add in the rest of the light blue. So, we're just filling this in. And once we filled in this light stamp, guys, uh, not this one, obviously, that next one, the last one, then we will have 100% finished all the detail work that exists in our iPad, and then we can just go on to filling the entire thing in. So, what you want to end up with for this third app is something that should look exactly like this. Again, very, very easy to do. It's just... You know, explanation, not needed. Pause this if necessary. Once you've got that taken care of, we can move on to the final one. So the final one's very, very simple as well. Um, this, I, I'm pretty sure, this one is the photos. So the first one is the video. It's got to be. It's like a video camera. It's got to be. I think that this one is a photo. Like, if you want to take photos with it, then um, I'm pretty sure that this is like a lens. It's got to be. If not, I have no idea what this is. I think I'm doing a pretty decent job guessing so far, but um, what we can then do here... I don't know why I'm explaining this. What we then do here, we fill in the center part in with dark gray wool. And here we have the fourth icon, the lens icon. Take a photo, pretty sure. Pause this if necessary, of course. Apply everything that you see here. Once you've done that for yourself, let me show you what you want to have for the entire top of your iPad. So this is what you want to have so far for the entire top of your iPad. Nice and simple. Once you've got all of that taken care of, let me just zoom out and show you what you want to have for the entire thing because what we're now going to have to do is fill the entire thing in. This is where all of the time goes. This takes quite a long time and it's kind of difficult to zoom out far enough but um, you guys should be able to see this. There we go. There we have the we have the entire thing here. So what we're now going to do, and by the way, guys, you are not limited to what color you want your iPad to be at the moment. You can see where we've kind of placed white around the iPad, and we've kind of done the same thing for the button. Well, you can change that to any color, really. You can change that to red, blue, green, whatever you want. Black, completely up to you. However, I would highly recommend the white. Just like with the iPhone, the, it, it just looks better in white. It makes everything pop. Just a suggestion completely up to you. So, what we're now going to do, the entire outside part will be filled in with white. We'll also have to knock out the center blocks that we have at the top and the bottom. We'll replace those with black. We will then fill this bottom part, just below the apps, in with cyan stained clay, and then the screen will be filled in with black wool. I am now going to do that. I won't do it on recording because it's, it's going to take a really long time, guys. And I'll be back once it's actually done. I probably won't even show you this one. I'll show you my original because that is how long it takes. Back in a moment. Alright guys, so this is what your iPad should look like once it's been 100% completely filled in. I had absolutely no desire to fill in the new iPad, so I'm showing you the original one. This is in my current Creative World 4, which is actually blossoming at the moment. So, this is what you want to have. All around the outside, around the screen, completely white wool. The screen itself is black wool, and as you guys can see right at the bottom of the screen, kind of like in the app tray, you just want to have cyan Saint clay, and that's all you have to do. That's why I didn't, I, I didn't really feel the need to do it completely again, and I really didn't feel the need to, you know, do it along with you guys, because it's not complicated, it's really, really easy, and honestly, I'd add like an extra 20 minutes onto the tutorial. It really takes a long time to do, as you guys might find out as you make this, so... Hopefully you guys like this, and if you did like this, guys, I would really appreciate it if you could throw me a like, share, favorite, show me some love, because I, I put a lot of work into this. Just like with the iPhone, I put a lot of work into this. And if you guys like this one as well, I will probably, not probably, if you like this one, I will attempt the Apple Watch. I will do it, I will make that thing, and hopefully it will look really cool. So, if you did like this, guys... Please like, share, favorite, show me some love. I will do the Apple Watch if you guys like this as well. Um, also, feel free to check out the iPhone in the cards and in the description below. And uh, go crazy with the colors on this thing if you want, guys. Like I said before, you don't have to do white. White is definitely a good color. It definitely looks good. However, um, any any color other than black and like gray 
would probably also look good, like a, a light blue one, a red one, a cyan one, a dark blue. Any colour would look good. I'd try them out for you, but seriously, it takes so long to make them all and fill them in. I can't do it. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Like, share, favourite, please. Please.